concentration training. Smartphones, tablets, laptops. A world of information at your fingertips. How convenient. Or so you might think. Is there a downside? I think so. These modern devices always connected. They may be eroding our ability to concentrate. Does this sound familiar? You're trying to focus on study or work. Yet, you feel compelled to check your email every few minutes. Or you're in a situation where you can't use your phone. And you find yourself getting restless and fidgety. There's a name for this. It's called information addiction. The consequences of information addiction are very scary indeed. Being constantly distracted by new information means that we can't focus on the task at hand. Ah, I almost forgot. I'm Dr. Ryuta Kawashima. Nice to meet you. I study the science of the brain at a top Japanese university. I'm here to help you train your brain. I worry that our information-driven society is affecting our ability to concentrate. Of course, information isn't solely to blame. The world is full of distractions, and they're only growing in number. But fear not. To try to help the problem of poor concentration, I've developed some devilishly tricky new training exercises. In fact, I call them devilish training. So what are we waiting for? Let's start devilish training. Devilish training. Sounds pretty tough, huh? You better believe it's tough. In fact, I have to become a bit devilish myself. To make it devilishly tricky. Are you ready? That's the spirit. All right. Let's get started with a great example of devilish training. Devilish calculations. These aren't your ordinary calculation problems, though. You'll see each problem displayed one after the other. And you have to write the answer to each one. But the task is not to write the answer to the problem currently being displayed. Instead, you're to write the answer to a problem that was displayed earlier. For one back, you write the answer that was displayed right before the current problem. Let me show you how it's done. Here's the first problem. All right, it's your turn now. Let's practice one back. Let's practice one back. Remember this answer. Write the answer to the previous problem.
Don't know the answer? Then tap Pass to quickly move on. Thank you.